Halloween sounds very spooky. It is spooky, and it's also pretty fun. That doesn't make sense to me. How can something be spooky and funny? Well, you know how I like scary movies, right? Yeah. You know, I'm always watching these scary movies, and they're very terrifying to watch sometimes, but it's still fun to watch them. So, you enjoy being scared? Well, not necessarily. You sound sadomasochistic. Did I say that right? I think it's pronounced sadomasochistic. 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 I think maybe you should stop now. Um... But, you know, I really don't get scared. You know, that is a challenging thing to, you know, scare me. Because to scare me is like to convince a lion to be a vegetarian. It, it, it can't be done. Well, that's not really a proper analogy. You know, because, you know, it is impossible to convince a lion to be a vegetarian. But I'm not saying that I don't get scared at all. But I'm just saying that, you know, what usually scares people doesn't always scare me. You know, like for example, some people are scared of dead bodies in a funeral home. That doesn't really have a negative effect on me. What's a funeral home? It's kind of hard to explain. Um, basically, I'm sure you're aware that there's a lot of living creatures in the universe and unfortunately, they live for a certain period of time and then they die. On Earth, we have something called funerals, which is basically where it's not really a celebration of life. What are you looking at back there? I just feel... I thought that there was, like, something crawling on my arm, but actually it was just a drop of sweat. I thought you were looking at my foot. That's sick. I wasn't trying to do that. I just felt something. It felt like it was crawling on my arm. I looked to see if it was a bug, but it was just a drop of sweat. Good excuse. Good excuse. I wasn't trying to look at your butt. Stop. Everyone is just so quick to jump to conclusions. I don't understand that. Well, get back to what you were talking about, about funerals. Well, funerals are basically ways for people, friends and family, to come together to see their relative, their loved one, one last time before it's time to bury them you know, in the ground. I honestly don't know how to explain it. I don't know what terminology to use, but basically funerals are ways for human beings to remember a person and the life that they lived while they were alive and, you know, share memories one last time before it's time to say goodbye to that person for good. Does that make any sense? Well, I think there's more to learn about it, but I think you gave me a good, a good description of what a funeral is and I'm interested in looking into what funerals are. Good. Just do me a favor. What? Stop looking at my butt. I wasn't looking at your butt. I felt something that felt like it was crawling on my arm. I wanted to see if it was a bug, but it was just a drop of sweat. That's all it was. I was not looking at your butt. I am not a pervert. Then why do you watch certain videos? No. What I talk to you about in the privacy of our house, we do not talk about it in our videos here on YouTube. It's not like you haven't said anything about it before in 3DS videos. What? It's not like there's nothing you haven't said in 3DS videos. Oh, what? It's not like we would say anything that you haven't said before in 3DS videos. You've seen some of my earlier videos where I've made certain confessions, have you? Yes, I do. And all I have to say is, you really have no reason to be ashamed of yourself. You're only a human being. You're an earthling, and earthlings are not perfect. So, I really wouldn't stress too much about what you stress out about. I mean, I've known you for quite some time, and I know that you're not a thief, you're not a murderer, you're not a rapist, you seem like a decent earthling, so I would not worry too much about what you think you need to worry about. Well, thank you, Jupiter. I'm really glad to hear you say that. Thank you. You're welcome. 